Other news now. The city of Troy about to get a facelift on the waterfront. City officials announced today plans for a $27 million project to bring businesses, housing, and commercial property all downtown. This is happening at the site of the old city hall, the Monument Square area. It's second and River Streets. That's right along the Hudson. Pat Bailey is live in our Albany newsroom now with the plans. Hiya, Pat. Well, hey, Greg, I'm told this is a $4 million investment for the taxpayers and the rest of the $27 million coming from the developer who is taking a gamble on the city of Troy. But it's a gamble they say they believe will pay off. And today marks an just another momentous day in the Collar City. Right now, it's an empty parking lot. But there's visions of a bustling and vibrant section of Troy along the Hudson. Where City Hall used to stand, a development company has plans to build apartments, commercial space, retail stores, and a permanent farmer's market. It only adds to the transformation of Troy. It will also be home to a variety of activities that will breathe new life into the entire capital region. The entire vision is coming through the eyes of a developer downstate. A developer that Troy Mayor Lou Rosamelia says has had their eye on Troy for many years. I think we have a great, great team assembled for this. I'm really, really looking forward to being, um, being part of this great opportunity, uh, and we're ready to get to work. Ready for work and to open their checkbook. The entire cost of the project is $27 million. The city of Troy is on the hook for $4 million grant money they got for the project. The rest of the $23 million will come out of the pocket of the developer. The size of the investment leads many to believe the dream of filled apartments and storefronts will one day become a reality. They've done major, major projects. We're very confident that this company can pull off everything that we've talked about, every design we've spoken about. Now, it was announced today that this project could be done in two phases, with the second phase potentially sending City Hall back down next to the Hudson. The project does need city planning and zoning board approval, of course, and if everything does move on time, phase one could be done in the fall of 2015. In, Albany, in the Albany Newsroom, Pat Bailey, CBS 6 News.